Super friends, here we are. Let's open another box of trading cards. That's right, Super Friends. Last time we opened up the first series of the Topps 89 Batman movie cards. Today, I've got an entire box of 36 wax packs unopened of Batman bubblegum trading cards from the 1989 Batman movie. Now, clearly the box itself is not sealed anymore. That's definitely seen better days. And I don't know why the box is so beat up and yet all the packs are in here, but in the end, that doesn't matter. What matters is that we can open up these fantastic packs of cards. I'm gonna go through this as quick as I possibly can, cutting out everything that's not needed or fast forwarding it. So let's just begin. I'm gonna bring in a cup and just place it off to the side here to stick all that bubble gum in. First package, which we're actually going to open up slow compared to the rest of them. Nine cards, one sticker, and one stick of bubble gum. You can see down the bottom, these are definitely different wax wrappers than the last one. Let's just open it up so you can see exactly what was on the inside. Unwrapped, here's what the package looked like. Here was the layout before the cards went on the inside. And they had different advertisements for other Batman products right there on the package. In this case, it was the second series deluxe Batman set in collector's box. In other words, if you didn't want to take your chances by buying individual packs, then you could just buy the whole set just like that. And you can still find those on eBay completely sealed. Okay, so we have card number 38, and these cards are actually covered in bubblegum dust. Like last time, these sticker cards actually put together a picture, only this time, I'm actually going to put the picture together. I totally forgot last time. Sorry about that. Also, unlike the previous cards, these actually had a yellow border as opposed to a white border. I always liked Series 2 better. I thought they were just more attractive looking. And, basically, the back of every one of these cards is going to look pretty much like this. So I'm not going to show the backs, just the front of each card. The sticker cards here, and the regular cards going here. Goons in hot pursuit. A new mad plan. Mission accomplished. City of light and danger. Retreat into darkness. Fistful of money. Mysterious millionaire. Festival of madness. And of course, in the first pack, there were no doubles. Next package. We've got another sticker card. Concept art for the Fluheim Museum interior. Sneaking up behind Jack. Knight and damsel. Power of the Batmobile. Throttling a punk over the gantry. More concept art. I like the fact that this series actually had concept art. That was pretty cool. The Wayne Manor Party. Dining at Wayne Manor. Batman in the Belfry. Cool. New doubles. Next package. We've got another sticker card. What Tim Burton wants. Another cool thing about this series is there was actually behind the scenes stuff as well. So Tim Burton appeared in this set of cards, which was, which was very cool. Danger in the streets. And there were actually uh, cards depicting scenes that never made it in the theatrical cut as well. Tim Burton, filmmaker. Gotham City Landscape. Directing Michael Keaton. Flight of the Dark Avenger. Leap from the Bell Tower. Presenting the Batmobile. Getting the worst from Grissom. Next package. One thing I've noticed about these cards is that the backs of a lot of these actually have like a fold. They have some damage. Not sure why that is though. It's just on the back card. So here's the sticker card, Batman and the Clown Prince of Crime. Aiming to kill. Heroic escape. Fantastic miniature set. Yeah, the miniature Gotham was absolutely fantastic. I remember watching a behind the scenes film on this and it was very cool. The man and his quarry. Fluheim Museum exterior. Directing Grissom's murder. Filming the dance macabre. Time to die, Grissom. The director's vision. Next package. Here's the sticker card with Batman and Vicky Vale. Dance of the deranged. Knox takes a shot at heroism. The night is his again. Twisted Pitchman. The hanging hood. Another man down. Everyone needs a hobby. The Batmobile. Head on. Yeah, they were really proud of that car. I mean, so they should be. It was fantastic and iconic. Savage sneak attack. So far, so good. No doubles. Next package. As a change compared to last time, the gum that comes in these packages is actually, for the most part, usually intact. And here's a different ad you could find on the back of the packages. Official full color Batman magazine. So they were basically just trying to promote more of their own products on the back. Of course they were, why wouldn't they be? That's beard news. 
Here is our sticker card. Joker feverishly cutting out that photo of Vicky Vale at the Nerve Center. Batman's Revenge. That's shortly after he hops out of the crashed Batwing. Kids playing Batman. That was not in the theatrical cut, as far as I remember. I believe that this is one of those cards that they made based on a scene that, that never made it into the movie. At least not that I can remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. March of the Misfits. Probably one of the best scenes in the movie is this scene where they're defacing all of the artwork. Very cool. Relaxing with key players. Oh, ain't nobody fighting here. Armadillo effect. That's shields. Tugging the line. More concept work. Love it. Buildings of Gotham City. Next package. Here's the sticker card. I love this illustration. This is probably one of my favorite cards in the whole set. Kind of weird they chose to give the bat symbol eyes. That was definitely really weird, but absolutely one of my favorite cards in the whole set. And then the rest of the cards that weren't doubles, City Street Miniature. Directing Jack Nicholson. Interviewed by Knox. The Oddest Couple. Grissom's Office, more concept art. Lear, the Clown Prince. The Last of Eckhart. Next package! So, here's the sticker card. And then we have Batman design concept. I love seeing the concept art. You'll notice here that one of the early design concepts is actually blue and gray and has a utility belt that has the capsules. So, that's pretty interesting to see where they started from to compared to where they went to. So, so, silent but deadly. This is actually not called silent but deadly because he's a deadly mime. It's because that's what happens when someone farts and then you're trying to get away from it. You're like, ooh, no, sorry about that. I can't, I can't be here for this. I can't abide your nasty butt stench. You want to get nuts? Come on, let's get nuts. A goon and his tune. Weapon against evil. I love that. <laughs> this is the ball crusher. This is probably one of the funniest parts in the movie. The fiend flies high. Preparing for an assault. Yep, concept art of the Batwing. From Burton to Batman. Jack and Alicia. Next package. And the sticker card is the Joker shooting the rescue scene. A fiery finale. Goons in hot pursuit. A gift for Vicky. Meltingly beautiful. Vicky Vale. The Batmobile escapes. With machine guns. Secret life of Bruce Wayne. Danger directly ahead. Next package. Here's the sticker card, and no, it's not my camera. This card just really wasn't printed that well. Or quite possibly the gum dust is causing damage to the cards over the years. The defeat of Batman. Madness wears a smile. Metal walkway. That's obviously in the Batcave. Computerized SFX. Look at that. That was top of the line back in the day, too. Look at that big beast of a tabletop. Maniacal murder. An artist most bizarre. Alicia, exquisite. Yep, that's before the Joker messed up face. Copter escape. Cathedral, dead ahead. So far, I gotta say, I'm doing very well at not getting the doubles. This is a giant stack right here, and my doubles consist of that. <laughs> that's it. Next package, which may or may not be filled with doubles. Joker. Dangling evil elevated subway exterior. Knox chats with Alfred. What Tim Burton wants. Danger in the streets. Ah, that's the devil. Tim Burton, filmmaker. That's a double two. Gotham City landscape. Directing Michael Keaton. And Flight of the Dark Avenger. I'm pretty sure that most of those were actually doubles. Whoopsie Daisy opened a pack and it wasn't recording. My bad. These are all doubles. But the sticker card I don't have, and that is concept art for the Joker. And then we have Interview by Knox and the Oddest Couple. I don't think I've seen these cards yet. Have mercy, there's a big stack right there. And I got a head like a sieve. And uh, drinking beers leads to a... Uh... I forget. Next package. We have Master Wayne. That's the first card. It's the sticker card. The Clown and the Clapboard. Murder just for laughs. Instructions for Alfred. Concept card for the Joker and his suit, which is definitely very different than this one. Absolutely. Incredibly different. They, I can see they used aspects of, of both of these. This one's definitely more comic accurate, though. The Villain Supreme. How the Joker Lives. Definitely. A, that's a cool-looking pad, if I do say so. Trick or Treat. Alley Bat. 
Oh, Batman Tops Picture Series 2, 132 cards, 22 stickers, and this is card number 130, 133. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the second series. Okay, so this is the first card of the second series, but it's card number 133 when added to the first series. That's what this is. Next package! So here is the sticker card. Joker! Leap from the bell tower. Presenting the Batmobile. Oh, wait a minute. Getting the worst. Okay, this is all doubles. I told you I wasn't going to show the doubles to you, so... Oh, man. Knight and Damsel... Power of the Batmobile, throttling a punk over the gantry. Wonder how that gum's doing. Yeah, a lot of full pieces in there. Not that I want to eat them. Oh, there's the sticker card, and that's absolutely clearly a double. Special advice for Batman. The Joker knocked backwards. Concept art. News of the battle. Doppelganger. The Batwing soars. His foul and fiendish grin. Brains plus beauty equals Vicky. Vicky Vale. The killer clowns in town. Dance of the deranged. Next package. So here's the sticker card. And then we have the Wayne Manor Party. Dining at Wayne Manor, Batman in the Belfry, Air Center, Batman's Revenge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double, 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 double. I even think that's a double too, actually. So this is it right here. That's the only one that's not a double. Next package. Now of which the only card that wasn't a double is the sticker card. Next package. The stickers are double here, so we'll move on to the cards. Jokes on Alicia. Hand of Vengeance. The Joker by Tim Burton. Clearly this is an illustration that, that Tim Burton did, his idea, his view of the Joker. The Phantom Avenger. And again, note that these cards actually have significant age or wear on them for some reason. I've never seen cards do that, and I don't remember them being like this when they were brand new in 1989. So, this must be an age thing. See, Rotelli Roost. Yeah, that scene was dark. That was a dark scene. That was one of the scenes that made my parents say, this movie's probably not for children. And I was like, Mom, it's Batman and I'm watching it. You can't stop me. Who's Jack Nathan? Napier. Fluheim Aftermath. Clearing the trigger. And that's concept art, by the way. Of course it is. Obviously, it's not a photo. Brad, you dummy. And then we have Classic First Issue. Just popped in there for some reason. I remember this. I mean, I had half these cards anyway, but yeah, very, very cool that they put this in here as well. Next package! Of which these were all doubles, and I think that maybe I don't have that one. Next package! Here's the fantastic sticker card which turned out to be the only one that wasn't a duplicate because all these were. Next package! And again, all duplicates. Okay, I'm gonna open up one more package and then count the big stack right there and just see how many I have and how far away I am. Next package! Okay, another full package of doubles, so at this point I'm gonna assume I'm very close to, if not, maybe I've already completed a full set. I'm gonna find out. Back in a second. Okay, so I'm back and I've discovered that I need three stickers and nine basic cards to complete the set. Which means I may have to open up all the rest of these just to get those. I really hope I don't have to do that. I really hope that I can have at least one or two packages unopened that can remain in this box. Well, let's find out together. Next package! Which was all doubles. Next package! Ooh, sticker number 44. That means I miscounted. Now I only need three more stickers. <laughs> all right. Got all these. Next package. Which is all doubles. Next package. Which is, again, all doubles. Next package. Which is, yet again, all doubles. Next package. And again, all doubles. Oh, man. This is painful. Next package. Oh, we got a sticker card I didn't have, so that's good. That's hopeful. But the rest were all doubles. Well, I can cross that one off the list. Next package. Which is all doubles again. Next package. <laughs> hmm. Again, all doubles. Where are the cards hiding that I need? Next package. Oh, cool. Here we have a sticker card that I actually needed, so that's good. Cross that off the list. <laughs> double, 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 double. I feel like I'm singing a song about Tim Horton's coffee. <laughs> double, 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 double. Ah, oh, drat. Next package! And actually, there's only two more in here, so... The probability of me being able to find nine cards that I need in three of these wax packages... 
I'm not a mathematician, but I don't think it's looking good. Flip through them, what do we have here? Oh, card 169, one that I in fact didn't have, woohoo! Next package, and they're all doubles. Great, last package. And honestly, Super Friends, I am not thinking we're gonna get a complete set. Actually, I can think of one card specifically that I can remember having as a kid that was part of this set. It was some concept art for the bat suit that we currently don't have unless it's in this package. Let's open it and find out. All right, we're doing this one in real time, folks. No cutting, no speeding it up. Oh, we're just gonna do it all in real time. And we have, oh, well, I'm not gonna complete the sticker set because I need number 24. Double, double, double. Double, 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 and a double. Well, there you have it, Super Friends. I have, I got out of all those packs, one damaged, one damaged card that I actually needed, and two of the sticker cards that I needed. However, that still leaves me eight cards short and one sticker short. Let me just quickly go through all of the doubles again, just to make sure I haven't messed up, and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we're back, Super Friends, and unfortunately, although we opened up all 36 wax packages of cards in this box, we were not, unfortunately, able to make a complete set of Series 2 Batman the Movie trading cards which kind of stinks. However, on the positive, we did get an opportunity to open up 36 unopened wax packs from 1989. That's 30 years ago. Wowzers! Also, here are the doubles and here are the singles for my sticker cards. I have all of these but one, which means I will not be able to assemble both of these full pictures. Anyway, Super Friends, Thank you so much for joining me today as we opened up this box of 1989 Topps Batman the Movie Trading Card Series 2. It's been an experience, hasn't it? As always, I know these card videos aren't always the most exciting thing, but I enjoy doing them, and I know that there are those of you out there who also enjoy seeing me do them. Besides, if I didn't open up all these cards, how would I get all this gum? I know it's tradition. When I open up bubblegum cards... I gotta try the old ass gum. It's highly preserved sugar product. Hopefully I don't die. You ready? <laughs> Yuck! Ah, oh, damn. I forgot to give commentary on it. Now I gotta eat another one. All right, I'm gonna tell you what it what it tastes like. Oh, here I go. It's really crunchy. Tastes like cardboard. It does not have the consistency of gum. That was gross. Don't try that at home. Ugh. <laughs> 